Blue, gold, purple, red. I can't believe this is gonna boil down to a memory game. I can't even remember some of my brother's names. Never mind a board full of colors. All right, guys, today you're playing Puzzle Pyramid. As you can see, there are six puzzles in the shape of a pyramid. To begin, each player is gonna start at the bottom puzzle. If you solve that puzzle correctly, you then move on to the second level. You're gonna continue this process till you get to the top and ring that bell. First player to ring the bell will win today's elimination round, stay in the game, which means you're going to the final challenge. However, you lose today's elimination round, and you came all this way for nothing. Good luck, you guys. Girls, you're up first. All right, girls, you ready? In the shape, fit all of her eyes, tell us places within the frame. This first puzzle really sucks. I absolutely hate tangrams. I'm really bad at them. This is my worst nightmare. laser focused on this puzzle. And I'm just trying everything that might potentially work, and it happens. Got it. Go ahead, you're good. All lined up. Place all of the provided pieces on the puzzle board, arranging them so that a complete and unbroken line is formed. Up. Place the provided number of blocks on the puzzle board so that the sum of each row, column, and diagonal line equals 15. Oh my god, this is so a joke right now. Laurel has an unfair advantage. When you're a robot, you can calculate things much quicker than the average person. Laurel can just calculate something in her brain, me, 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 and then figure out the answer. Keep it together, Teresa. I wish I could. I would be happier to compete against Teresa than I would Laurel, but Teresa is getting really frustrated. She's getting really emotional. She needs to lock it up and get things done. All right, Teresa, move up. Hurry up. Still got a shot. Teresa, move up. Teresa is gaining. At this point, they're both on puzzle three, and anyone could ring that bell. It's crunch time. Now, my brain needs to be focused on what needs to get done. I need to think. I just lose this? Teresa, that is not correct. Every row, column, and diagonal line have to equal 15. There's a trick here, and for some reason, I'm getting everything lining up except for the diagonal row. Right now, my adrenaline is going so quick, I like can't even really think. Something as easy as adding numbers seems like rocket science to me. Got it. All right, Laurel, that is correct. I got it right. I did it. Good job. All I know is that the final is going to be very difficult and it's not guaranteed to anybody. I'm just really proud of myself. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh. Today's challenge is called Don't Forget About Me. Your goal today is to look at a puzzle, then solve that puzzle at the very top of this mountain. Yeah. <laughs> now it sounds easy, but there's a catch. The answer key to the puzzle is directly underneath these 300 pound steel doors. And here's how it's gonna work. Guys are gonna start by holding onto a rope that's connected to each of these doors. When I say go, they're gonna lift up that door and hold it as long as they can. The girls, they're gonna try and memorize the key that's underneath each door. 
And once the girl decides that she's memorized it enough, or the guys can't hold it any longer, either way, when that trap door closes, it's closed. And both of you guys have to rush off and go all the way up this mountain. Once you get to the puzzle at the very top, the girls are going to solve the puzzle. She gets it right, you guys are good to go. She gets it wrong, you both have to come all the way back down and repeat the process. What? <laughs> oh. All right, guys, ready? There's not a single muscle in my body that's not being at least slightly used. It's like an incredibly awkward deadlift that just will never go away. It's going to be a long, grueling, horrible day. Do whatever you're sure of. Don't worry about me. I'm worried about less trips. Wes is remaining cool, calm, and collective right now. The fact that we're both keeping each other relaxed is the best thing that we could do in this game. Do what you're sure of. You have to be organized. No matter what, you're going to have to take multiple trips, yep. and you know that. So and I know a few other if you're ones. only sure of, sure of three, do three, and we leave. I need a comfortable way to carry this bag. you got to stay close to me, because I'm going to use you to talk to you about what's on there. Are you positive that this is it? Yes. So it's going to be like two there, and then it's just going to be like straight across. All right. Uh, uh, uh. I really feel like a piece of meat today. They're not using me for in anything other than my good looks and, and Brute strength. This thing, I'm telling you, this thing's gonna start separating the men from the boys. You got 10 seconds. This takes the cake for the hardest individual challenge or even individual feat that I've ever done in my life. And we're gonna have to go up and down this mountain yet again. Death is becoming imminent in my mind. Going down. <sighs> that thing. Back to deliver my toys to the children of the world. This challenge relationship that Wes and I have, it's nice to see that we don't get frustrated under pressure together. These last few puzzle pieces are the most nerve-wracking. If I get one of these puzzle pieces wrong and someone else gets all of their puzzle pieces right, I can lose this. Confident? Very confident. OK. Look oh, at this. TJ. Give it to me, Teach. My heart is racing right now. All right, congratulations. Oh, yeah! You guys awesome. the power cup. Yeah. Nice thank work. You, thank you, thank you. Holy yeah, good job. Yeah. That was impressive. Damn. I love being power couple. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, it feels really good. If everything works out the way that I'm kind of hoping to make another decently big move. But it's also bad because this was a little mini final, and now everyone watched us just clock them, which makes our target yet again even bigger. Tonight, you guys are going to be playing through thick and thin. Tonight is a team event. Everybody is playing. As you can see behind me, there are two walls. There's also two puzzles, one for each team. Your job tonight, take that sledgehammer, blast through the wall, go through it, solve the puzzle on the other side. Why do you have to give me a puzzle? Clearly, we are here because I couldn't perform in a puzzle. I'm just hoping tonight's my night. Whoever solves their puzzle first, stay in the game. You and your bloodline, and you'll be joining me and the rest of these teams in Berlin. <laughs> Losing team goes home empty-handed. So you do not want to go home. Good luck. <laughs> You ready? It all comes down to this, Vince. Come on, baby. Everybody run. Oh. I know my cousin is going to make short work of this cinder block wall. Um, I don't even think he needs a sledgehammer. I think he just lower his shoulder and run right through this thing. Okay. All right, cut. Vince is a strong dude. He blasts the hell out of that wall. But Car is smaller, so Jamie's able to kind of get a, a hole ready for her. She can pop right through.
It looks like I'm looking through a kaleidoscope. There's triangles, there's squares. I'm just hoping he can figure something out quick. Nothing is working. We've got some weird colored pieces that don't look like they go anywhere, and I just don't know what the pattern is that we're trying to figure out. Like, what are we building? OK, this is going to be just a corner. Do you see anything that I don't? You got this car. So now if that's not going to work, that's not going to work. Here, try this one. I'm looking at this puzzle, and it makes zero sense. No matter how many different strategic approaches I take to solving this puzzle, absolutely nothing is working. The only pattern that's developing here is me and my cousin suck at puzzles. Do you see anything? So OK, here's right, what we need corner. to do. So we have two middles and one diagonal. That makes a line, OK? Bananas and Vince, you can tell they're getting close. They're only dealing with about three pieces. Is there a purple with the middle? Here we go, blue red. Okay, they're so close. Look at it, it matches up. No, but no, but that's, no, that's not it. It's not a diamond. Be smart, Carl. Be smart. Almost, dude. Almost there. I know Armoria has this visceral hatred towards me, and I can't wait to send her on her way. We got, we, got it. Got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, bananas and Vince. Why is Dallas and Vince right? No, no. The last thing that I want to hear right now is bananas screaming, I got it. I got it. Is this it? Is this it? And I'm just, my heart drops. All right, bananas and Vince. Why is Dallas and Vince right? I'm sorry, guys. That's incorrect. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> I honestly think that we have it, and then I look, and two of the colors don't match. So now we literally have to tear this thing completely apart and start from scratch. By some miracle, <laughs> apparently Bananas does not have this puzzle right. And I'm thinking, OK, keep working, because if he's only off by just a little bit, he could figure it out in the next one minute. We don't have purple. Is that? Do you think they only need to be squares and stay these no, you can't be, because that's because that's how that one's cut. These colors and lines and figures we're trying to get, I mean, it's got my mind warped. I don't know what's going on. I'm just hoping Bananas has a better picture in his head than I do. Just keep going, keep going with us, because this is, we're on to something. Purple, I'm trying to look at this, here. Be purple, green. Blue, red. Oh my god, how long is this gonna take? <laughs> I'm getting anxiety. The anticipation is just killing me. Look at me. See? I see I see something. Just move everything down. Good. Can we get a check? Can we get a check? Please, for the love of God, can we get a check? Carmery and Jamie. That's correct. No way! You're me, TJ! I can't. I still don't see it. No, I didn't see it ever. It's confusing me. Puzzle masters. Puzzle masters. Good job, man. Congrats. Congrats. You deserved it. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Car Maria, you whoop my ass, girl. I love you, cousin. Who did it? We're going to Berlin. I'm in shock right now. The last thing I ever want to see in an elimination is a puzzle. And I solved a puzzle <laughs> against bananas. <laughs> OK, guys, tonight you're playing Chill Out. <laughs> As you can see, there are two giant ice baths. There's also two puzzles. To begin, you guys are going to start in that ice bath for one minute. Once that one minute's up, I'm going to give you two minutes to solve your puzzle. You have a set amount of wooden planks and wooden discs. Your goal is to figure out how to stack them in order to reach your designated line. If you can't do it in two minutes, then I'm going to put you right back in the ice bath for another minute. We're going to continue this process till you guys solve that puzzle. Now, keep this in mind. If you can't take the ice bath, Get out. I'm going to take that as quitting. The first team to stack up all of their pieces will win tonight's elimination round and stay in the game. Losing team goes home empty-handed. Got it? Yeah. I got it. When you're freezing cold and you can't think of anything else, don't let your mind shut down, all right? Good luck, you guys. Make it happen.
This is freezing. I'm like shriveling up. I know Nelson's schlong is probably about this big right now in this cold little water. Nice job, guys. It is happening. Oh. oh, there it is. Yeah. I'm peeing. <laughs> I'm okay with it. You can pee in the tub. I would have him do it if I got stung by a jellyfish. He can do it in here. <laughs> Think about the puzzle. Okay, guys, you got three, two, one, go! Do they really got your back? Two minutes to solve the puzzle. Do they really got your back? I'm too busy looking forward. To be where we where you at. Our strategy going in is just use those little discs. We think that we can do two on opposite diagonals and just keep building it up like that. It seems like it's gonna be a little too easy to do it that way. There's obviously probably a catch to this game, but we're gonna play it by ear. All right, guys, in three, two, one. Back in the ice bath. Let's go. Back in. Get down. Good. Yeah, we don't have enough pieces. We gotta put more. And look, we don't have any stackers on the bottom. It doesn't take us long to realize we're gonna have to figure out how to use these spaces appropriately to stack these blocks correctly. I think we're gonna have to start over. It's fine. I would do absolutely horrible in a bath of ice. I mean, I don't even like when the pool's too cold. Get out of here, I can do it. All right, guys, get ready. In three, two, one, go! Separate the pieces and the spacers. You're starting to get the right idea, but you got to have a stronger base. Guys, more on the bottom, less on top. Start doubling up. This has got to be real sturdy. Now take your time here and make that cylinder strong. Why isn't this working? Why isn't this stacking to the red line? Like, I don't know what we need to do or how to stack this. All right, guys, three, two, one, back in the lake. My wiener hurts. Did you call it a wiener? It hurts. Hey, 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 Everything in my body is going numb. Mentally, I'm OK. But I'm noticing that my partner is just starting to completely blank out. This is not good. <laughs> It's got to be sturdy, so go with twos and then see how far up your, your center beam can go. Two. Because at the end, one, it's going to be a single go. beam. You still have a wide. You still have a wide, though. Hey. Yes. Yes. Tell you. yes. We've tried every single wave, and it's not reaching the red line. So at this point, we're going to have to risk it and flip the disc because we need more height and try and balance these squares. Look. Kelly! Yes! Look! Triangles, guys. On their Triangles. sides, dude. Can you pay attention to them, too? Wow. Light bulb goes off. This is how you do it. All right, let's get this done. There you go. Oh, Wider! Put that Wider. last one on. Good job, Kelly. Wider. 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 Now, Wider. Now, Wider. Now, Wider. 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 We put the last block on there and we kind of hold it. It looks to us like it's hitting the red line. It feels good to win right now because I haven't won since I've been here. It's a huge turning point for me and Kellyanne because, you know, we had a lot of issues thus far. I feel like us winning will bring us closer together as a team. Take the total number of triangles in this puzzle, then divide it by the number three, then multiply it by 12. When you unlock your paddle, grab your paddle board and paddle back to barge. OK. 16. 16. Divided by three. What? This has to deal with a triangle, math, and division. All subjects I am not good at, people. <laughs> this is one. It's 
24. I've already tried 24. <laughs> divided by 3, but not divided by 12. Why 25? No, 25 isn't divided by 3. I'm trying to count these triangles until I realize, wait a second, it has to be a multiple by 3. 108. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, she's killing it. This girl is very bright. She might go psycho at some time, but when it comes to puzzle and math, her brain is working. Start talking. I'm thinking. So we tried 17, we tried 16. Um, what is 16? 6, 12, 18. I'm kidding, baby. I'm doing my best. We're just gonna have to stay focused. I'm stressed. This is not as easy as it looks, you guys, especially when you've already swam, but... I want this money so I can start my life over again and give back to my mom because she's given everything to me. I want to prove that this boy that came from poverty can do anything. I'm going to keep chugging to my last breath. You're going to have to kill me before I stop. 17, 2. This is so bad, dude. All right, I need us to what it's going to be. It's the big line. Yeah? The big line. That's under there. It's the big line. Oh! Oh, God! You want to just take the key? It doesn't weigh that much. Can we take the, the puzzle piece to us? No. Oh, my God. The key is going to get right here. Oh, uh, this the is... Sign. Is there a triangle in the sign? This is a triangle. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. One. OK, one, two, three, four, five. We're reading the sign, and I'm counting the triangles on the sign. I'm like, that might be the key. You know, you never know. 29 divided by 3 is what? 29 divided by 8 division. <laughs> this is so pathetic. I'm about to lose a challenge because of a puzzle. Like, is this real life? Is this a joke? <gasps> now the 29 divided by 3. That's still not even. I know. There are 27 triangles. So how did I you get 27 if you might? Know. There's 27 triangles in the market. But how did you get that? I'm just curious so I can know. All of those? That's a triangle. That's a triangle. What the f 27, 27 divided, divided by, by three. three. Go. <laughs> just, just go. We couldn't complete the task. We're going to get hit with the time penalty. So now we need to get on this paddleboard, make up some time, get to the barge, and solve the puzzle. Yeah, right there. That's the middle piece. That's the top piece. Look. See? See that? The black down here. The red up top, the black, the red to the black right there. Check. Okay, looks good. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, good job, y'all. Good job. Woo! Not that far behind. This is the moment I've been waiting for for a long time. We are finally going to see if Bananas just barks and can't bite. All right, guys. Tonight you're playing not so bright. To begin, you're each going to start behind your podium. Then when I say go, you're gonna push the button, which will in turn light your board up. You're gonna notice that some of the lights are not lit. You're gonna have to memorize those lights, run over to the board, and turn those lights on. If you hit the switch of a light that's already on, it will turn off, so pay close attention. The first person to completely light their board, top to bottom, will win tonight's elimination round and stay in the game. It's that simple, but it's that hard. Loser goes home empty-handed. Good luck, you guys. They definitely found the one challenge I is going to level the playing field for Devin and myself. Tony, this is a big move, and this is either going to be a huge move for him beneficially, or this is going to come back to bite him in the ass. Tony has granted me my one true wish, to send bananas home in a fiery ring of lights. I'm not scared of bananas. Why would I be? It's an old man. He's probably not even going to be able to see the board. Hope he brought his glasses. All right, guys, you ready? I 
I am gonna break this puzzle into six different rectangles. Hit the buzzer, memorize one rectangle, light it up. Come back, hit the buzzer, memorize another one until my board's lit up and Bananas is going home. This is the first time ever in an elimination I have not heard a peep from the people watching. I have no idea how Devin's doing on the other side. It's very difficult to tell who's leading and who's behind. Quick, 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 quick. This, yeah, I couldn't do this. Oh, I, my this one. I would be horrible at this. I'd be terrible. <laughs> I can't even remember two seconds ago. Who's winning? <laughs> who's winning? <laughs> I don't know who is winning, and I'm so confused, but I'm just hoping Devin manages to inch it. I know I can beat Devin at everything except puzzles, and Johnny can beat me at everything. So now is the time it needs to happen. Come on, come it's just on, a memory come on. game, isn't it? I'm looking on the banana side of the board, and it seems like bananas has more lights lit up. And I'm like, God, man, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right choice? I'm freaking out at this point. sitting on the edge of my seat the entire time. I don't know who's gonna win. They're seriously so neck and neck. There's a huge possibility that Bananas is going to come back in this game and I could, you know, be screwed. Everything's getting more and more lit up and I really do start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I've got maybe two more trips to this board and I think I'll finish this entire thing. I am going to win. Tony's gonna be paying for this for a long time. The first person to light their entire board will win tonight's elimination round and stay in the game. Let's go, baby, let's go. This is so close. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. You have to be quicker. Devin looks like Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. He is locked in. A giant rush of victory enters my body in a euphoric high that can only be described as Nirvana. This is the moment I hope every good person gets to have when you beat someone that sucks and you send them home. Look who's untouchable now. I think I pulled a muscle. Now, this challenge is called Memory Smash. So. When I say go, race over to your memory card, memorize as many colors as you can, then haul ass inside of this castle all the way to the courtyard, where there's four puzzle boards. They have these colors out of order. Put the colors exactly where they go. It's that simple. The first person to solve their puzzle correctly wins this season of the challenge, Vendettas. And for the first time ever, we're only gonna have one winner. It's a guy or a girl. Shut up. And become the champion of Vendettas. Shut up! This is essentially winner take all. This is so much money. If I didn't already need a diaper, I definitely need one on now. Anybody can win this. Zach and Carmaria, you guys are in first place right now. You guys get a 30 second head start. Plenty of time to catch up, guys. And the time starts right now. I just want to get this final over with and hopefully make a good amount of money. This is the best challenge season I have ever been on, hands down. I want to show everybody that I just want to win.
reputation is everything in this game. I finally have made it to a final. It's my third season, and I'm here to win it. Check it now. That's wrong. It's these colors, they all look the same to me, I'm telling you, like... I don't know who's ahead, car or I, but I do know that we're close. I'm really confident that I'm gonna win. Blue, gold, purple, red. I can't believe this is gonna boil down to a memory game. I can't even remember some of my brother's names. Never mind a board full of colors. <sighs> Can I get a check? That's wrong. You have an error. Two purples at the top. Three purples on the second line. One, skip, one. I'm really confident that I'm going to win. I'm just praying that Kara messes up. I need to find out where I made my mistake. That's wrong. You have an error. Oh, beautiful. Yes! I got it! Check. Check. Three, four, five, six, seven. to date where a girl has taken over and I had to compete against the boys, not with the boys. I won over everybody. So that's like girl power. Yeah! Yeah! Tonight, you guys are playing Think Outside the Box. One of you is gonna be trapped in a cage. The only way for you to escape is by assembling puzzle pieces that your partner fetches. Now here's the catch. Your partner is gonna be attached to a bungee cord, so he's barely gonna be able to reach those puzzle pieces. Once they get the puzzle piece, they're gonna come back, bring it to their partner one at a time. The first team to complete their puzzle and climb out of the box wins tonight's elimination round and stays in the game. Losers go home. All right, good luck. I mean, they clearly think we're weak. They think that they could beat us. We're here to find out. Let's see. There's some people I definitely want to talk to and definitely shake up a little bit and let them know I'm coming for them. Little bitch boy Kyle, Brad, Holly. Joss, Zach. Everyone who put us in, obviously. Everyone who voted for us. Throw me into elimination every week so I can see who's been lying to me so I can take them out myself. Pauly created a stir with my teammate, and I'm thinking the less conflict, the better. So at this point, it's in our best interest to get Kaylee and Cam back in the house. Go. All right, guys, you ready? Let's go, let's go. I am rooting right now that Polly comes back, mostly because I'm really, because I hate Kyle. So, yeah. Go, let's go. Just getting to the puzzle pieces is already stretching the bands to their fullest capacity. In order to get the momentum to now go to the cage, I have to get sprung back and then shoot myself out again. Polly, come on, come on. <laughs> Polly's absolutely struggling to retrieve these pieces. Meanwhile, Cam is an absolute monster. I mean, she's just transformer stomping these puzzle pieces all over the inside of this ring. <laughs> Cam is a stronger competitor and just a stronger all-around person than Paulie. So, yeah, he kind of sucks. Kaylee, Keep building, let's go! I'm a stomach ground, I'm a fighter. 
competitions in this game, so they need to leave. There we go. Holly! Pull me. I need Kaylee and Cam to win because if they come back in this house, the car's down one alliance, so you might have to listen to me. Let's go, Cam! Wait! Come on, Nat. You gotta get that one to the other side. I know puzzles aren't really Natalie's strong suit, and I thought I was gonna be able to actually get to the cage to be able to coach her through building the puzzle, but my bands won't even allow me to get to the cage, let alone stay at the cage. Here, Kaylee, here! Whoa. Kaylee! Kaylee! You're up at the back! Jesus! I know Kaylee, she's my ex. She's not the brightest spark. She's not the sharpest, sharpest tool in the... What's it, what's, what's, what's I saying? Sharpest tool in the shed. That's it. She's not the sharpest tool in the shed, is, it, is our Kaylee. Kaylee! Kaylee, listen to me. You see the red? Natalie! Kaylee, listen to Keep me. Keep going. I'm so nervous. There is a million dollars on the line right now, and we need to get back in that house. Okay. Kaylee! I'm going to stay! the bottom of the I'm house! I'm going to go! Move the beast back! I do see her nerves getting the best of her, but I'm like, hey. <laughs> Snap out of it. That is not how Killer Camp performs. <laughs> if you want that Killer title before your name, too, I'm gonna need you to come through for the team. Stay calm, Nat. You gotta get the piece in. If Paul and Natalie win, that means they're coming back to the house knowing that my team voted for them. So I am 110% cheering on Cam and Kaylee. I really need them to win this. I need you to get this. This is your vendetta. You're going against. I need you to win. Push through. Let's go. Focus, you gotta pull it towards you. Yes, there you go. Push it all together. Let's push it. Come your guy, let's go. I said let's go, climb out. What's good? What's good? It makes me so happy to look at Kara's face and the frown that she has on right now. I I am so excited that my friends are coming back and Natalie and Paulie are in. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Nothing feels as good as when you win an elimination in the challenge. Also, never throw my suitcase over a balcony. Karma always wins, I'm sorry. You said you wanted it. Now my elimination record is about to match my GPA. 4.0, baby. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Good job. Good job. Good job. 